Welcome to Calculus 101. Today's session is the antiderivative and the fundamental theorem of calculus. The prerequisites for this session are that you should have a good understanding of Riemann sums and basic integral concepts. If you do not feel comfortable with these concepts, please go back and review previous sessions. We're going to start by constructing a basic graph. And on this graph, we are going to put a very simple function known as a constant function. The constant function has no slope, and so it is a perfectly horizontal line. This function occurs at the value y equals 5. And we're going to talk about the area underneath this function at any arbitrary point along the x-axis. So we're going to call that point x. The goal is to find the area between the function and the x-axis. And finding a formula that works for at any point along that x-axis. Like I said, this point x is arbitrary and can be moved at any point. We're starting with this function because it creates a very basic rectangle, one which we find very easy to find the area of. As you know, the area of a rectangle is its length times its width. The capital A with an X stands for an area function. The area of the rectangle, as we said, is its length times its width. Looking at this rectangle, it is fairly straightforward to see that its length is this point X and its width is 5. 